I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music, it's horrible. You guys, give Ariana Grande a break. You might not like her, but steal her music? That's taking things too far. A previously unreleased Ariana Grande track magically struck the web and set off a wildfire of speculation and excitement. But this wasn't just any leak. This story takes a wild turn that you won't even see coming and literally fans are still scrambling for answers. From TikTok teases, Spotify surprises, and into the roller coaster of emotions, legal drama, dances that went viral, and that you never saw coming, Ariana's song Fantasize took that kind of journey. So buckle up for a ride that redefines everything you've ever thought about music leaks, the power of fans, and just how far people who adore Ariana Grande will go to defend her. You'll also be shocked at how just unpredictable and wild her internet fame is. It all started on June 21st, 2023. Something super exciting happened on the internet. A song by Ariana Grande that no one had ever heard before started popping up everywhere. This song didn't have a name yet, but because the word fantasize was right at the start of the catchy part, fans quickly decided that they would start calling it that. Now, a TikTok account that loves Ariana Grande called AR Honeymoon Babes posted a video with this secret song and wrote new unreleased from Ariana under it. You wouldn't believe it, but almost 880,000 people watched this TikTok. Everyone in the comments was talking about how amazing the song was and wondering why Ariana had never released it. Anyways, that very next day, something totally unexpected happened. The person who runs the AR Honeymoon Babes account got a huge surprise. Imagine scrolling through your TikTok and seeing a comment from Ariana Grande herself. That's exactly what went down. Ariana popped into the comments of TikTok that played her leaked song, Fantasize, and dropped some news. Ariana said that she wrote that song for a comedy sketch about a girl group and it was the demo she made for them. Ariana then requested that people spreading leaks and expressed her disapproval. Even though her comment disappeared later, Ariana's message was loud and clear. Wrote this for a comedy sketch about a girl group. This was a demo I made for them. Please stop spreading the leaks. I appreciate it. But did everyone listen to Ariana and stop sharing the song? Well, she asked nicely to stop spreading the leaks. Hopefully her fans would respect her wishes and of course, First, everyone immediately stopped and deleted all the leaks, making sure the unreleased songs were never heard again. Or did they? Hmm. Let's get real. Of course the song didn't just vanish because Ariana asked nicely. Well, there are fans for a reason and the excitement was just too much. The person behind the Ari Honeymoon Babes quickly said that it wasn't them who leaked Fantasize and promised no more leaks on their end. But as you might guess, not everyone followed that promise. Before you know it, Fantasize wasn't just an Ariana Grande fan secret anymore. A month after the leak, this tune started popping up all over TikTok, turning into the latest hit sound at the time. And guys, even people who weren't Ariana fans were jamming to it in their videos. There were all sorts of versions. One version of the song got so popular that it ended up having over half a million views, with some racking up views in the tens of millions. And then, because TikTok loves a good dance, a viral dance challenge was born. Everyone was trying it, sharing it, and yep, loving it. There's something you should know. mid-August had rolled around, Fantasize had been the tune everyone couldn't get enough of. It had started climbing up the charts on Shazam because loads of people had heard it on TikTok and had no clue what it was, given that it had still been a secret Ariana song. Over 100,000 folks had hit Shazam trying to figure out its name. With the song becoming a massive hit among both Ariana's fans and just about everyone else, people started saying Ariana should officially drop Fantasize on all music streaming sites. Some fans said that this could be the biggest thing she has ever done. But despite its huge online success and everyone saying Ariana should release it, she didn't. But did that stop the fans? Nope. They were not about to let this song just be a memory. Even though Ariana didn't release Fantasize, her fans were ready to make their own magic happen, hinting at a Fantasize era created by the fans themselves. On August 19th, 2023, something super sneaky happened on Spotify. A song popped up called, But Just Before I Go, There's Something You Should Know. Yep, in all caps. Because why not make it stand out? This wasn't just any song. It was the Fantasize track that everyone had been talking about going viral and all. But here's the twist. 
artist. It wasn't Ariana Grande who put it out there. Instead, the song was listed under an artist named Adriana Venti. Sound familiar? Because Adriana Venti is a playful twist on Ariana Grande's name, with Adriana being just one letter off from Ariana and Venti being a cheeky nod to Grande. This Adriana Venti wasn't a real singer, but a fake version of Ariana set up on Spotify. The song claimed to be from Y Records, which is a little inside joke for fans about how Ariana loves to sing, yeah, especially in hits like God is a Woman. And the cover art was a pic of Ariana Grande, but with a twist. They edited it to feature her rocking her signature high ponytail and showcasing her Rem Beauty lip gloss, making it look like it was supposed to be Adriana Venti. So who was behind this sneaky release? That remained a mystery, but it was clear that Fantasize had taken on a life of its own, turning from an unreleased demo into a full-blown Spotify sensation, all thanks to some clever fans and their love for a good inside joke. Right after Fantasize made its mysterious entrance on Spotify under the artist's name Adriana Venti, things started to get really excited. By early September, the song was on fire, pulling in about 300,000 streams every single day. It quickly zoomed past 1 million streams, and guys, Adriana Venti, our mystery artist, suddenly had over 300,000 people listening to her every month. But here comes the super cool part. On September 4th, 2023, Fantasize did something no other unreleased song has ever done before. It landed on the Spotify 200 daily top charts in the Philippines, all the way at number 200, thanks to over 71,000 streams from there alone. This was huge, because it was the first time an unreleased track made it onto any of Spotify top charts. And the song didn't stop there. From there, Fantasize kept on making waves, charting on several viral Spotify charts against different countries. It was like literally everyone everywhere couldn't get enough of this song, proving that a good tune knows no boundaries, especially when it's got a story as unique as this one. So on September 1st, 2023, the adventure of Fantasize took another twist when a Twitter account named Loving Jax decided to join in on the fun. Loving Jax tweeted, sharing a link to the song, and urging people to go listen to it. So it got more interesting because on the 4th, after a tweet showing a Spotify page for Adriana Venti, Loving Jax retweeted, that's me, LMAO, and brought even more mystery and laughter to the whole thing. With Fantasize having made waves and hit charts, big culture news Twitter accounts like Popbase couldn't help but spill the tea. And y'all, this had all sorts of reactions from fans. Some found it hilarious and a very promising sign for Ariana's next album. They were excited and saw this as a fun twist in the music world. But not gonna lie, not everybody was laughing. Some fans felt it wasn't okay to share music that Ariana hadn't released yet. They nodded to how tough it was to see your work shared without your permission, and maybe this kind of fun would lead to some serious legal drama. I mean, try to imagine putting your heart and soul into a song only for it to sneak out before you were ready. Anyways, this whole situation had people buzzing about what was next for Adriana's album. Am I the only one that finds it disrespectful to do that? LOL, she didn't release it for a reason. That's awful to have something stolen that you worked so hard on. Ari loves a build up to new music and she was robbed of that as well. I smell a lawsuit. And that's exactly what happened. On September 5th, 2023, the exact same day the song started making waves on Twitter in the Philippines, the Loving Jacks account, which everyone thought was behind the Adriana Spotify page, dropped a bombshell. Y'all won't believe this, but they tweeted out saying that they were getting sued and all of their songs would be removed from Spotify soon. And guys, they didn't stop there. They also shared an email that looked pretty serious, which stated that the content mentioned had infringed on intellectual property in violation of the Spotify for Artists terms and conditions, and as a result, it has been taken down. For those who don't know, Spotify has a strict rule that music must have permission before it can be used, making this a big deal. Now, here's where it got juicy. It wasn't totally clear if this email was all about the Adriana Venti artist profile or if it included some of their songs too. But one thing was for sure this drama had everyone glued to their screens wondering what would happen next. Moving on, a tweet popped up announcing some of the songs had been taken off Spotify and get this, it quickly gathered over 5,000 
1,000 likes. A follow-up tweet made it clear. Those tunes were indeed gone, and guys, the Adriana Spotify profile wasn't having it and blamed Buzzing Pop, a Twitter account, for the whole mix-up. Well, Buzzing Pop had tweeted about a song that shouldn't have been on Spotify yet, showing everyone what was up. This tweet by Buzzing Pop was a huge deal. It racked up more than 50,000 likes and zoomed to over 5 million views. So, some fans were really bummed out when they heard that their favorite song got pulled off the internet. They simply could not believe it and thought that it was just unfair to mute an indie artist who was just doing their thing. And y'all, they didn't sit back. They showed their big support flooding Adriana Venti's last FM page with kind messages. They're silencing an indie alternative underground artist. This is not okay. The day after the Twitter account announced they were getting sued, they tweeted that they were going to court on September 15th. On September 16th, 2023, Loving Jax shared a tweet about their court day, explaining that their experience in court on the previous day had not gone well. They recounted how their tweets, the income from the songs, and other information were brought up during the proceedings. They reflected on the situation, saying that playing stupid games can lead to winning stupid prizes, indicating that as a result, they were ordered to pay $10,000 and to complete 48 hours of community service. Yep, you heard that right. Hello! As you all know, I went to court yesterday. It did not go very well. They pulled up my tweets, the money I made from the songs, and other information, but as they say, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, I have to pay then 10K, and I have to serve 48 plus hours of CS. This news sparked a reaction from the fans. Some suggested that people should chip in for the fine. Some fans argued that because many of them enjoyed the song, they should all share the situation together. However, it's not clear if Loving Jacks really went to court or if the $10,000 fine is a fact. Here's the craziest bit. Even after Adriana got caught sharing songs that weren't hers on a Spotify, a bunch of fans still cheered her on. They started calling themselves Adriana Tours, which is kind of funny because it sounds a lot like Ariana Grande's fan name, but it's totally different. Adriana Venti, even though she was doing something a bit naughty by sharing music that wasn't supposed to be out there, ended up getting a lot of love on Stan Twitter. Fans were all over her unreleased songs, playing them like they were official hits. But does this make you wonder, is it cool to listen to music that's been leaked? Before the big Adriana Venti drama, Ariana Grande opened up about how some of her music had been leaked. In a video on April 17th, 2023, she mentioned that her audience had heard every bad song and bold demo that she has ever made, calling it hilarious. She acknowledged the impossibility of keeping things from her fans, noting that one must take some swings and misses. And when someone asked her about any secrets, Ariana responded, by saying that she was all out of secrets, lamenting that her fans had stolen all of her unreleased music and described it as horrible. No secrets. I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music. It's horrible. You know where I am. You know what I'm doing. You know all of it. You know everything that's going on. You know everything that's going on. There's no secrets. There's no secrets with you and I. Now, even though her songs got leaked, everyone absolutely loved one called Fantasize. It turned out to be super popular, which means it wasn't a flop after all, but Ariana made an important part that we weren't supposed to know about Fantasize. She explained that sharing someone's music without asking is wrong, not just because it's illegal, but it's also not nice. She also mentioned that Fantasize wasn't really meant for her, it was written for someone else's project, and she was only supposed to get a shout out in the credits. So, despite being hit with a hefty 10k fine, it seemed like the song Fantasize kept popping up on Spotify. Y'all, people were still trying to ride the wave of Adriana's fame by sharing this track. And guys, some Twitter folks noticed in mid-September that even radio stations had been playing this mysterious song. Now, you might be thinking, why does this matter? Well, after the fine, it was supposed to stop fans from making up artists to share their favorite unreleased songs, and it looks like it did the opposite. Basically, the whole Adriana Venti situation might have just kicked off a new trend on Stan Twitter. For those who don't know, this could mean we're seeing just the start of fans getting super creative to share music they love. I'd love to hear your opinion on this loves how do you see the future of music leaks and fan power shaping up after this it's obviously one of the worst things that could happen to an artist but it looks like the fans have a divided opinion on this drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more stories that will keep you hooked